Some tough economic times have left many families without homes and jobs, but a sweet recipe for turning lives around is being served up in one of the best restaurants in town and at its heart, an organic farm with a first of its kind harvest in America. CBS 4's Michelle Gillen hit the fields to bring back the group's secret. As sun-kissed rays dance amid the vines and the summer heat bakes the brow of farmers, the air is sweet with the scent of blossoms. Got a jewel here. It's basil. Because we never get to see that. Yeah, smell that. And hope. And you're able to grow something, be able to feed a neighbor, a child, a family member. Here to purchase and pick fruits and vegetables and herbs this day, one of the world's most celebrated chefs, Norman Van Aken. We'll pick the food now, and by 3 o'clock this afternoon, we'll have a feast. Throughout the week, he travels to Homestead to this first-of-its-kind organic farm project in the United States. Everyone here doing the planting, harvesting, picking, canning, and cooking are formerly homeless. You're working you know, first hand with the land and you're healing the land and healing yourself. The fruits of labor here all to be served up in Van Aken's Castle in the Sky restaurant, Tuyo. And there's more to this recipe for success. I feel refreshed just being in there. It is, it's a healing, it's a, it's a tonic for the soul. It's a brainchild born out of a marriage between the Miami-Dade Homeless Trust, the Verde Gardens Housing Program, this culinary crusader, and Miami-Dade's Culinary Institute. Why am I buying asparagus from down in South America right now when I could be getting the most beautiful Malabar spinach that is delicious yes. and on the greens? Look at right it. It's, it's fantastic. gorgeous. This day, we literally pick a menu for a most special dinner. Van Aken's going to cook and serve up for the farmers. I better do it right. You better do it right. Because they grew it with their own hands, so yeah. I feel a special sense of like, this is, a, this is the connection. This night, the guests arrive, a night of appreciation. Thank you for helping us make a difference. The thank you going to the farmers. I'm wow because this, I feel like a Cinderella. Last we met, mm -hmm. we were in the fields together mm -hmm. with all those mosquitoes. And the, uh -huh. How do you feel about the night? Um, feels good. We do feel very special coming here today. It's, it's all kind of overwhelming. What do you think about the being the guest of honor tonight? It's amazing. It's almost surreal. I mean, I would have never thought working on a farm would lead up to, you know, being a guest at a place as, as nice as this. I'm, I'm very, very happy. As the Freedom Tower illuminates the city behind us, Families, mothers, fathers, and children, formerly homeless and without jobs. Tonight, a savor, a sense of independence and gratitude, thanks to a community that offered a helping hand. It's returning the sense of dignity and empowerment to individuals that were probably set aside by the economy for a while. My dream is to see farms like this all over Miami in every nook and cranny, growing food everywhere so that, that nobody has to go without. And Michelle says that every dinner at Tuyo that sits atop the Miami-Dade College Culinary Institute helps change lives and we'll have you coming back for more.